Are you having the pre pre patch blues? Hi, I'm Kelsey, and today we are going to be talking about how to prepare for WoW's next expansion, Dragonflight. I'm super excited about the next expansion and celebrate the news by painting Alexstrasza. I hope you enjoy the time lapse of it while we go down the list. If you do enjoy this video, please hit the like button and consider subscribing. As a small time content creator, I appreciate your support and read all of my comments. World of Warcraft Dragonflight will serve as the ninth expansion for the 18-year-old MMO and usher the return of the dragons to Azeroth. Dragon aspects were once the most powerful beings on the planet, but due to the events of Cataclysm, they were weakened. Since this time, dragons have not played a pivotal role in World of Warcraft for many expansions, and Dragonflight aims to fix that. Here are five tips to prepare for Dragonflight. Number one, start farming gold. When scouring the web and talking with friends, the most common answer in preparing for Dragonflight is to start stockpiling gold. One way is to work your mission tables. There is an add-on called TLDR Missions to make it simple. Another option is to work the auction house. Many people find success with this. Personally, I'm going to be completing callings. These can award around 2,000 gold in one calling and you can complete this across all of your alts. Number two, character consideration. Level alts or if you're new to the game, create your character now since Dragonflight begins at level 60. You can try a new class or spec. I recommend learning to tank. With this extra time, it is a great opportunity to consider what you want to main next expansion and give that class a try. You can do so by creating a new character and starting from scratch or by doing a class trial character. Personally, I'm going to be looking into Brewmaster Monk. With the new Evoker class in Dragonflight encompassing DPS and healing, I have a hunch that tanks as always, will be in high demand, especially in the beginning. This is also a great time to create a character to lock in the name you want on your server, especially since eight new race class combos will be available to players in 10.0. With that change, you will be able to create mages, priests, and rogues of any race. Claim your name now! And speaking of alts, now is a great time to consider moving all of your characters to the same server since cross-faction mail is now available. Number three, farm any last minute collectibles. Take this extra time to farm all of the transmogs and mounts that your heart desires. There is a fan site called Simple Armory. It helps you see what collectibles you have and which you are missing. I will post the link below. When you leave the Shadowlands behind, the current guaranteed drop rate for mythic mounts will significantly decrease. Last year, Blizzard reported the drop rates of Mythic Ray boss mounts wouldn't be reduced to 1% until the launch of the next expansion. So there's still time to collect them all the way through pre-patch if they continue this trend. In the description, I have also included an article of the top 10 WoW Shadowlands best mounts and how to get them. Number four, catch up on your dragon lore. Game Rant believes Dragonflight promises to be a dragon heavy expansion and the best way to prepare for that is reading World of Warcraft novels featuring dragons. The return of the dragon aspects to World of Warcraft also means Dragonflight will be full of dragon lore. The dragons have had a long history on Azeroth with not all of it being portrayed in game. Many fans may be rusty when it comes to the specifics of the dragon lore, but World of Warcraft has received many tie-in novels over the years, and a decent amount of them have touched on the topic of dragons that could be read before the expansion rolls around. These novels include Day of the Dragon, Dawn of the Aspects, The War of the Ancients trilogy, Night of the Dragon, Thrall, Twilight of the Aspects, and lastly, World of Warcraft Chronicles. Of these, the only one I haven't read is the Book of Thrall. It's actually next on my list since I'm finishing The Shattering right now. My favorite one of the ones mentioned above has to be The War of the Ancients trilogy. That story focuses a lot on Malfurion's rise and Illidan's fall, along with the creation of the continents of Azeroth. It also tells the story of the dragon aspects and the creation of the dragon soul, an object that would be corrupted and changed into the demon soul by Deathwing. The story is a pivotal moment in Azeroth's history and it provides a lot of backstory on the characters of the world and the dragons that inhabit it. The last tip is to create art. Maybe in the meantime, you can also create some awesome World of Warcraft art like I am. I would love to see your World of Warcraft art. You can tag me on Instagram or drop it in the art section of the Discord. If you wanna see more of my art, you can find me on Twitch creating and doodling. I'll post the links below. How are you preparing for Dragonflight? Comment below and let 
let me know. I hope this list gives some direction towards clearing up any pre-pre-patch blues or jitters. Until next time, remember, in a world where you can be anything, be kind. <laughs>